12 Minutes is a game I'd not really seen much of before its release. It's an interactive thriller about a man trapped in a time loop, with an all-star cast including Willem Dafoe, James McAvoy and Daisy Ridley. Created by Luis Antonio, an indie games developer, obviously with some outsourcing of various tasks. Normally I would do a section on the story, but the entire game is the story, so dropping anything but the basics would be giving all the spoilers. So I will simply say that you play as a man who returns home to his wife and finds himself stuck in a time loop. The story covers some very adult themes, so you have been warned, and I've seen a few people say they've felt very uncomfortable after finishing the game, so if you are of a sensitive disposition, this probably isn't one for you. Moving straight on to the gameplay, I will try to keep spoilers to a minimum, but honestly there might be a few, it is unavoidable due to how the game plays. This is a top-down, real-time, point-and-click game. You left-click to move, you left-click on objects to interact with them, some objects can interact with each other, either in the apartment you are in or within your inventory. For example, you could add sleeping pills to a mug of water. Some items can also be used to interact with other people, but no spoilers. The majority of the game is about conversations you have with your wife, covering various topics which expand as you learn more in each time loop. Now this is a little bit of a spoiler, but most people will have already seen this in screenshots and things. Each loop, a guy turns up who will eventually kill you or hit you when this happens, the loop restarts, and there are a few other ways the loop can restart as well, but that's for you to discover. As the loops rerun, you can eventually convince your wife all of this is going to happen. However, though at times you have the option to tell her to leave, she won't. So even though she knows there is mortal danger and accepts this, she just won't leave anyway. Then there are other times when I think to myself, well, I should be able to tell her to go and hide in the bathroom and lock the door, or go and hide in the bedroom under the bed, or help me move an item of furniture in front of the main door so this person can't get in. None of those options are there, and yet they seem so obvious, which really ruins the immersion for me at times. I also found that the game extends its playtime by forcing you back into loop after loop to gain an extra tiny bit of information to unlock a next line of text which is how this game kind of needs to work and is part of the mechanics so to some extent I can forgive it. But there are really times in the same loop when I could then be furthering the conversation, that option is just not there, you have to reset the loop before you get it. And then there's the fact that once you know exactly what you need to do each loop, the game becomes kind of tedious. Basically for the first hour or two this game is really enjoyable, but the further you get beyond that, the more monotonous it becomes and at times there is a point where I find myself just fast clicking through all the dialogue because I'd heard it many times before. Well, maybe there's an extra line in the new loop. But you know, you can feel the character's frustration at times, perhaps that's not a bad thing, it drags you into the story a bit. What I can't forgive is how predictable the story itself actually becomes towards the end. It reads like a bad Hollywood movie. How ridiculous can it get, I hear you ask? Well, it's probably worse than what you're thinking. The game has multiple endings, though most of these are reached at the same point, so it's not like choices throughout the entire game make a difference. Which I kind of guess makes sense because each loop is a fresh start, so there's no real ongoing story. Kojima said he'd been playing the game for 4 hours and was really enjoying it. I think I completed the game in slightly less than 4 hours, but I was certainly heading that way. Moving on to the graphics. The game's not bad looking, it seems to have a weird filter over it and honestly there's not a lot to comment on. There are three rooms, a closet and a hallway that you walk through technically once. It's not going to win any awards for graphics, but the art style is fitting. That said, there are moments where the team has clearly been lazy. Now I might be nitpicking here, but considering there are so few items and actions in the game, it seems to me that they should be taking the time to animate them all properly. An example that stood out to me was when you're eating the dessert in the game, you have a massive spoon that would pick up the entire dessert, but no food ever appeared on it and the spoon went through the table. It's just that lack of attention to detail that really spoils it for me. And when there are so few animations like that in the game, to let one slip like that just seems really half arsed The sound, however, I can give them points for. The music is very good and it really adds to the aesthetic. The sound effects are equally very fitting, even just the rain and thunder outside. The voice acting is obviously top notch as you might expect from such big names. 
the only thing that lets them down at times is the script. In summary, I love puzzle games, I love thrillers, I love something that makes me think. And there are times when 12 minutes fits into all of those categories. However, it doesn't always. Some of it is just plain repetitive for the sake of extending gameplay. While I can accept that's part of the game, it does not mean I have to like it. Especially when at times the loop was not even over and surely I could just discuss this new point then and there rather than restarting the loop. Loops aside, the story starts out as very engaging, but as I note, becomes very Hollywood and ridiculous at the end. So while it kept me guessing a little, by the end it became horrendously predictable. So I couldn't really recommend the game for the story. Also, as noted, it's left some people very uncomfortable. So as I say, if you're of a sensitive disposition, then this is probably not for you. I really enjoy the game's concept, I enjoyed the start of the story and the first few hours of play were really fun and kept me very engaged. But as things progressed beyond that, it just wasn't as enjoyable, which is a shame. The game at its full current price is far too expensive for what it is. For me, I got it included with Game Pass, so that's fine. I would suggest for the maybe four hours of gameplay, maybe a little bit more you get out of this and the fact you can only play the game once, half its current price or less would be my buying point. I think it's this expensive because of the big names they've got doing the voice acting. Overall, I can recommend it at the lower price and would happily give it 3.5 out of 5. It just falters towards the end in both gameplay and story, it fails to have a few responses and actions that I would consider obvious, and attention to detail is lacking in the graphics and animation department at times, so I really don't feel I can score it any higher. Has anyone else played the game? What did you think of it? What did you think of the story? Did you think it became predictable? What did you think of the gameplay? I'm really curious to see what other people thought of this one because it's such an unusual game. But thanks very much for watching. Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to see future games reviews and have a fantastic weekend.